Hi, fourth grade. I made a homework help video for you to work on tonight, and hopefully it helps just to review what we learned in class today. And we're going to start by looking at lesson 15 and our objective. The objective for lesson 15 was to understand and solve division problems with the remainder using the array and area models. So these are going to be basic division problems. They're all going to have a remainder, but we're going to be using a simple array and an area model to solve them. So today in class we started off with a simple problem and we asked what is 10 divided by 2? And that's the kind of problem that we've done before. And what we're saying is that we have 10 items and we're now going to put those into two even groups and I would have five in each group. But today we were asked to do something a little bit different. We were asked to use an array to solve this problem and we know an array is uh, an organization and in that we're going to have rows and columns. So I'm going to make an array from this division problem and the first thing I look at is the divisor, 2, and I'm going to say I have two rows and then I need to figure out how many columns I'll have when I have 10 circles. 4, 6, 8, 10. I now have 10 circles and I have 5 columns. So 5 times 2 equals 10 and 10 divided by 2 equals 5. Then we took a step back from our array and we said, you know, this could also be represented by a rectangle with a width of 2 and a length of 5 because the area of that would also be 10. And we used graph paper so in class it looked a little bit more like this where we drew our rectangle over the graph paper and we said it had an area of 10 and we knew that one side was 2 and we asked ourselves what times 2 equals 10 and we came up with 10 divided by 2 is 5 so the quotient is 5. So we're going to take that same idea and we're going to take that to some little more challenging problems on our homework tonight. So let's look at a few of the problems that you're going to be working on and especially if you're having difficulty on it, try your best first, then watch the video and see if it one helps or two to check your answer and see if you got it right. So let's take a look tonight's homework question number one. Okay so question number one is 24 divided by 4. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use my divisor 4 and I'm going to put down four dots or circles to represent four rows I'm going to build in creating 24 circles or dots here. So I have my four rows and if I add four more I have eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. So looking at this problem, 24 divided by 4, I have six columns and six times four equals 24. So my quotient is six and there's no remainder. So now I'm going to go ahead and do this on in an area model on my graph paper to the right. 
And I'm going to start off, and I know my divisor is 4, so I'm going to draw my line 1, 2, 3, 4 squares. And then I'm going to go and count 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, rectangle here is 4 units by 6 units. And 4 times 6, 24. So 24 divided by 4 equals 6. And it says, can you show 24 divided by 4 with one rectangle? And yes. We only needed one rectangle to show that. So let's go ahead and take a look at problem number two. Problem number two is a very similar problem, but this time it's 25 divided by 4. So I've got my divisor again, and I'm going to go ahead and 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 25. Now, when I think about this, I know again I have four rows, and there are six complete columns. I've got 24 dots inside uh, the main part of the array there, but here I have a remainder of 1. So 25 divided by 4 is 6 with a remainder of 1. And can I draw that in my area model? So let's go ahead and, and try that. Uh, just like we did before, I'm going to start off with my first line, 4 units, and I see that it's 6 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 6 times 4 is 24. But my problem is 25, so I have one additional rectangle here, or square in this case, outside of the main rectangle because I can't evenly divide 25 by 4. So I have a remainder of 1. Can you divide 20 by, 25 by 4 with one rectangle? No. And I'd want to go ahead and explain that I needed one more unit or one more square to show that additional, that 25th unit that's being divided into four parts. Let's go ahead and take a look at one more problem, and then I'm going to leave the last one in tonight's problem set all for you to do. Let's look at number three. Okay, last problem, and we'll try to move quickly here. This one, the instructions say to solve using an array and area model. The first one is done for you. So we're not going to do A. We're going to go down to uh, 3A, which is 44 divided by 7. And I'm going to go ahead and just use my dots to help me do this quickly. I'm going to start off and I'm going to make 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 rows. Now I'm going to go ahead and populate out 44 circles. Okay, so there's my 7 rows. And I was able to make six columns. And seven times six is 42. So in the middle there, I've got 42 dots in my array. And notice I have two left over. So I have a remainder of two. So 
for this problem, the quotient 40 of 44 divided by 7 is 6, and I have a remainder of 2. Now let's go ahead and think about that as an area model. And for this, I'm just going to draw a rectangular shape. And if one side is 7, the other side 6, I'm going to have an area of 42. But I would have two rectangles left over, a remainder of 2. And 6 up here was the quotient that I was looking for. OK, fourth grade. I think the last problem on tonight's homework is number five for you to do. Skip number four, but do number five, part A and B. Do your best on it and bring it to class tomorrow. And if you need help, we'll work on it then. Have a great night.